Good morning. Uh, so back to uh, Snippet Pixie next development. Uh, we're working on a list of snippets. Um, and let's get to that's the item. That's the list. It's very bare bones at the moment. Okay, we're going to be working on the items today. So let's uh, get the GUI up so we can see what we're working on. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Um, and when we add in, when we do a little search, it reduces down and so on. Um, and we can clear the search. Uh, there is actually a way to just do a refresh. So if something changed in the background, it would pull that back in again. Um, but yeah, so, but what we need to do now is get it so that these entries are usable. At the moment, it's just a list. Um, and I don't think I can even tab to them. Yeah, I can't, I can't actually get to them at the moment. Um, and that's what we need to fix. So, oh. so let's stick it over here out of the way. Uh, let's reduce it down. Let's go back to the, oh. go back to the UI. What I meant to do there was take it over. There we are. So, um, li things i think so what we've got here is well for starters they haven't got a tab index so that might be the way i need to do that Ah, I just thought. Perfect. Okay, that's good. This is so when I was um building these shortcuts, these uh one, two, three, fours, and they only go up to zero, and then the rest. <clears throat> you have to basically go pick. Um I had thought about um making that number. To configure it here somehow and pass it in. Um, but I'm glad I didn't. Why has that got? Let's get rid of that. Okay. So what we have now at the moment, we have an index coming in. Um, and that will be zero through whatever um, is the, uh, the count effectively minus one for the list. Um, so I can use that. I can definitely use that. I can thinking about it. Can I just do um, tab index equals index? Now that's going to be hmm, that might be problematic having zero as the first one, but we'll have a play. So if I'm in the search and I tab, well, it's not coming back. Oh, it's definitely working. I just haven't got any focus on it. Uh, let's put some focus. Uh, we want the same kind of focus as we had in the the input.
Right, yeah, just in the border color. Yeah, I was manually setting the focus on that. And focus in and focus out. Which I don't need to do here. So... I'm probably not going to do border color. Hmm. Let's take that. I might use that as is, but let's just play with it for the moment. So what we'll do as we will do I focus hello let's just give it a border for the second so if I come in here and I tab it's not doing it is it Right, so that's in theory on this top one. Okay, can't see what's going on. Let's um, let's do it in a browser. Right, so it's doing the tab index okay. They've all got tabbing index there. So I'm selecting the first entry here. Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. It's selecting this, isn't it? Is it? It's had a bit of um, uh, pseudo. That's what I want. Can I add another pseudo here? See what happens. So I'm in here. No, it's not getting the focus.
Okay, don't even remember that being there. But it is strange. That neither of them is showing the focus. And it hasn't got a focus element on it. Which I guess is okay if it's not selected. Right, that's got focus now. But it's not showing anything. What did I do? Oh. Right, okay. But, well, that's fine, but... Why... Is that... Not happening? Whereas I know that does. Right. Okay, so I might have an issue there where it might be skipping in because I've given it in tab index, it might be allowing the buttons. Oh, no, they're not buttons. Spans, so they, yeah, no, they're not going to get focus. It's text. Hmm. Not seeing the focus. Well, it's definitely doing multiples. So if I come in, 
I do one. So it's doing. So there's six things there. So now I should be able to go one, two, three, four, five. And should in theory be in the last item, but I can't see it at the moment. Six should be moving to the seventh. Eight, All right. So that's done that. So that's moved onto the seventh line. Do another one. Okay, so that is. Oh, wow. That did a jump. Clip. CP. Wow. One, two. So CPU control control U CC Kai. Well, it is hitting them. Can't see them. What's going on? Um, uh, let's just do background color. Um, input background because that's a different color. There you go. Right, okay, so that's just selected that. Let's go back up here. Tab. Okay, that's working now then. That one goes off. Tab. Right, okay, because that's the zero. There's two zeros somewhere. Right, okay, I'll sort that out. Um, but that's working better now because I can see it. Oh, I know why the border color's not working. There is no border. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Right. Okay, so back here. Okay. Now, what color am I using for highlighting? Well, I don't want the highlight highlight because that is a uh, Well, do I? No, I think <clears throat> maybe tertiary will be better. I'll try it. Not very subtle though. Does the job. You definitely know what you've got selected. Even the click handler works. I didn't expect that. But that is nice. Okay. That'll do. Um, we just need to change the color um, of the text. Just the background. Yeah, that's better. I 
OK, so tabbing. We have a little problem with the tabbing. We are going from here to something. Don't know what. Then to number one. Something else. Oh, that was another tab I had to do there. Ah, uh, that's taking it out into the... Okay, right, so... There used to be a way uh, of seeing all the tab indexes. I remember doing this before, but I can't remember how how you did it. There you go. Show tab in order checkbox. Okay, it's so in accessibility. Which I don't think I've got here. I'm pulling Axe Dev Tools, but uh, oh, I'm in it. Stop it. Right. Dink. Okay. That's for God started. Let's put it. Here, show tab in order. Okay, that's <laughs> problematic. Um, right, so uh, we got right, let's 
Right, I'm going to do a refresh and then come back to that and see what happens. So, because oh, I've got all to focus on. Right. So, show tab in order. Wow. Okay. 90. It's because of all the things I've got in there. So, if I reduce this down. Interesting. Hmm. How do I see what's got the tab? So this is like in theory ninety one. This hasn't got a tab index, but it is again selected. Ninety three. Oh, because it has a zero on it. That's the problem there. One. I mean, that's not got anything there. So that's one there. And that's 93. Wow, okay. Because it's zeroed. Um, how do I... Okay, how do I reset all the type indexes? I kind of want to give them all. I wonder if it says anything here. Ah. Uh. We have one, which is this. We have this, which is five. That's three. We've got four, five, six, 
five, one. Okay, let's let's break some things and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this search button a tab index of minus one. And I'm going to give the clear button the same. It's taken them out. So and I'll tap into there, but then I'm going off somewhere else. And I don't know where. And I very much care. One. And then two. I've only got the three here, but then it's going off into the ether. What about here? Yeah, it goes off somewhere else, and I don't know where. It's, I presume... I presume... Well, it can't be the container, surely. Not the um, unordered list. No, didn't think so because it hasn't. It's not a target anyway. So what could it be? Let's reduce this down again, um, just to that. Can't be the body itself, surely. I'm just going to go top down and disable things. Oops. It's going off somewhere else. I mean, there's no reason why that would ever be the thing. So it's not the body. What? Oh, okay, well.
And there is one way around this. Just for a number. It's only because there's a zero at the beginning that we're typing out, so I'm just going to do that. So type index. Plus one. <laughs> okay. So we're in here. Tab to one. Oh, tab to somewhere else. And then one. So where is that somewhere else? But this will work now. It's got to be going off to the, the browser, and I don't want it to. I really don't want to be setting tab index in here. I suppose I could pass it in. There is a sneaky. What I could do is I think I can do this. Is that all right? And then on the list snippet screen, tab index equals one. This page is through all the way to the bottom, and then it will do the weirdness. Last one goes somewhere, then it's back into search. Hmm, where is that somewhere? <laughs> Actually, I don't even want tab tab. I want up down. Once I'm in the list, it's the list that should be the focus, not the list items for the tab index. Uh, and it should just auto focus the first. So I'm actually doing that wrong anyway. Um, so So we could do the same here. Yeah. Or oh, I could actually explicitly have it. Let's do that.
I should probably do that on the input as well. This is what I actually care about. It's not everything else. Still works actually. Let me double check what we've got here. Oops. One, two, presumably three, and then four. Okay. Oh, because I haven't set it. <laughs> right, so we've got uh, input. I am. Oops. Done with input. List. Uh, I hope that's going to be okay. We're not going to do this tab index anymore. I'm taking it out. And then on the screen. Tab index one. Tab index two. Fresh. Stick a wibble. Show the tab in order. That's what we want. There. Goes off somewhere else. Keeps on going, alright, because, yeah. Right, but there, there, okay. That's fine. And then, so on here, that should work as expected now. Goes there, and we don't, we can't see it. And then come back. But what we'll do is in the snippets list, um, we're going to do. some focusy stuff so again right so we're going to do On focus. Yeah. On focus, we'll call focus function. Mm -hmm. 
need to target the first one, basically. As long as a child hasn't already got focus. Because if you click in, oh, that's a good point, actually. Let's do that. Um, need to double check what the deal is there. So here, if I tap into it, we get focused. And it doesn't repeat. Come back in, it does it again, that's fine. Clear that. Now if I just click on Ribble Wobble, okay, still get focused. And it's lost it here, isn't it? We haven't got a tab index anymore. Can't get focus. Hmm. Okay. I have to think about that because tab index might be important there. If you do tab index zero, then they just auto increment, and I don't really want that. What if I did a sneaky? What about? What about if I pass in the tab index here? So they, everything gets the same tab index for the hierarchy. Means the UI gets it, UL, so it gets it first. Will this muck about things or not? Yeah, I can select them now. Um, oh, that's interesting. One, presumably two, but it should be one. <laughs> Can't see it. Three, four. That's not what I want. 
don't want them to have, to have index. I want, if you go into the search box, you tab straight into the list and it picks the first one. And if you tab out, if you do a back tab, it goes back into the search box. And then when you're in the list, you just um, use keys to, to traverse it or hit like one or two or whatever to apply that snippet. So tab index is not the answer. Though, if I did that, it didn't pass it in. So if I'm making a minus one tab index on the list items, what kind of mess does that produce? Hey, hey, okay. That's interesting, okay. So a negative tab index allows me to focus still. That's good. I just need to pick the first. Okay, I'm out of time. I've got to be somewhere else in like a minute, so that's that. Um, but that is progress. At least we have a uh, means there to focus the items. I just need to do key control on that, and I need to handle the case of when you tab in, selecting the first one. We'll get there. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care.